Hello everybody, it's Lazel here with another video. Today is finally the day where I will upgrade my Kellet Witch to the fourth star and unlock the additional 9.5% attack boost. That is just great, it'll help out my angels and sure, of course, all of my other units, but mostly I am looking at my angels attack. So, and as I just did with the dodge level 3 to dodge level 4, I am really interested in the overall improvement to kind of like find out how much it really is. So, but due to the fact that I have my mystic technology with like the dodge mechanic and also the fatal hit mechanic, it is really hard to rate how much my attack has actually improved. So we will work with an averaging method here, which we will do by attacking the Undead King. Today, luckily, we have the Mage Nemesis in addition to that. So what we will do today is we will send a formation out of, we will leave my angels out here, of just my uh, strongest mages. I think I will, I want to have like um, an open window for because mages will get wounded and stuff like that. So I'd like to leave some back. One of everything and the rest we will just fill with our strongest cavalry because we hope for a lot of dodge triggers. And in addition to that, we will also send one of each aside from that. So here we really need to watch out that we send off the odd and even units and also one of those. All right, great. So today, because we have Savage Lands and we also have uh, my fast expansion is not ready, I will also not go and use the 15% buffs. It doesn't have an impact on our averaging method here, but I just don't want to invest those just because of the simple fact that I don't expect to get a very high ranking anyways, because fast expansion won't be up for a lot of hours. Currently, we have the commander title that increases attack and defense of our units by 5% and that should be enough for today. So we will be doing five attacks with the third star only again. This is my array that I'll be using and then we will upgrade Kellet Witch to the fourth star, do five another attacks and we will average the whole damage that we have dealt in these two uh, piles of five attacks each and then we will see how much our improvement has an impact on our damage output. So this is the technology that I'll be using, cavalry stats and mage stats matter the most. I will still be using my perfect heart just because of the simple fact that it has damage increased when attacking on it, that is way more powerful than using my dragon tooth necklace that I only have for my recruitment speed up improvement. So I'd say let's get right into the first five attacks and just note those numbers that we will get out of it. And yeah, let's get started. All right, checking the formation again. First attack, two of each. Yeah, that works out. I will leave the angels out for now. I don't know if we'll have a better impact, but we will see. It'll make my mages attack a bit earlier. And then we will just note this number and then we will just keep going with uh, all of the other stuff. All right, next attack. We do need to keep an eye on our wounded units, but so far we are doing fine. We can quickly check out the replay. All right, cavalry definitely doing some work there with these dodge triggers, but that is just what I said about the averaging because of the uh, percentage chance of triggering the dodge skill so but overall yeah our mages get hit last so there's another report that just came in so we can note this one while we send out our next attack and you can already see that there are a lot of gaps between uh, the damage that we are dealing All right next one can quickly note that Now to the fourth one. All right. Formation still looking good. Not taking too many wounded units. That's great. All 
All right. That is the fourth one. And now we will come to the last attack and afterwards we will finally upgrade the Kellertwitch to the fourth star. Such a great upgrade that we are about to get. All right, so there's the last attack. We will note the damage. All right, so, and now we will go for our Kellet Witch upgrade. Been really excited for that for a very long time. And here we will refine it. Awesome. Yeah, can also share it. Took a screenshot, very important. Gotta get it done for the thumbnail. And now we can get our next five attacks and note the, these damage numbers in the next pile. All right. Three, six, nice. So Already from the first one, we can see that there is an improvement. Next one, wounded units are still looking great. Yeah, and as I just said, I don't expect to get a very good ranking this time. And here we can definitely see that it's all about triggers when it comes to my castle. Since, uh, yeah, we focus cavalry, we have the fatal hit, we have the dodge mechanic. All of that stuff is like getting taken into account when it comes to our uh, performance. All right, 3.2. I quickly just want to check if everything's all right with our formation, but it looks good. Yeah, but that's really a low number here. But that is why we are doing this, like showing again that cavalry is really all about a certain chance to trigger the dodge mechanic and also about the fatal hit. I mean, uh, we cannot forget that one, especially when the uh, nemesis are mages. So can't forget that one. 3.3 here. And now we will come to our last attack. There's the last one. And we are back to 3.6. All right, guys, so I will quickly run the numbers and then I'll be back to you. All right, guys, so these are the results of this test. The overall attack boost difference of the third to the fourth star had an overall impact of 114,514, 149.6 damage when we were attacking the Undead King. You can see in those numbers exactly what I was just talking about, the difference of 
playing with like for example the infantry setup and let's say like okay also mages then they still have the fatal hit trigger but overall cavalry is really all about those dodge triggers in addition to playing them with mages it is really hard to rate the overall performance but on average we can see here that the additional 9.5 percent attack boost from the Kellet witch had an great impact overall. I cannot wait to test this artifact in the upcoming Savage Lands rounds where they will have a huge impact on our angels. That's something that we didn't test with this uh, Undead King damage difference test. But overall, I am very sure that it will have a great impact on my angels just because of the simple fact that it won't only synergize very well with them having a very strong base attack also with the flame missile with the sacred flame with the blazing soul i mean yeah that's like for the uh, sacred flame overall i cannot wait to test it for my angels and yeah overall i hope you enjoyed this damage difference test again and then i would say see you in the next video guys goodbye